Hello again everybody, this is Peter from Physical Therapy Ireland. In today's video, I'm going to demonstrate three specific protocol rehab exercises for a torn hamstring. Now there's two things I want to mention first. If you do injure your hamstring, go visit your local physical therapist first before you do any of these exercises. And then secondly, um, do not stretch the hamstring for at least one week after injuring it. That really depends on the severity of the injury. The reason I'm saying that is because we need to give sufficient amount of time for that injured area to kind of gel and to repair itself before we do any stretches. If we stretch too soon, we're going to be pulling away that already healing area. It's only going to cause further irritation and prolonged recovery period. So the first out of the three exercises is known as the extensor. All I want you to do is lie down on your back, bring the affected leg up, knee up to hip height, bring your hands behind the knees and simply straighten out your leg. Go as far as you can to the point that's comfortable, keeping the knee there at hip height. You're going to go a nice slow controlled manner just like this. We do not want any pain at all throughout this exercise and we're going to do this then 12 times. After 12 times then you bring it back down and you're going to repeat it on again. What we want to do here is to do a three sets of 12 repetitions and we're going to do that then twice a day. So the second exercise is called the diver. All I want you to do is to stand on the injured leg, have a slight um, bend in the knee as well. Keep that throughout the exercise if you can. We're going to keep our back straight. We're going to flex our pelvis, okay? Hands out in front of us and bring your leg up towards the ceiling. And it's going to look like this. Go nice, slow and controlled. Hold for two seconds at the end if you can. Okay, and I'm gonna feel a nice big stretch all on the back of my upper hamstring here. We don't want any pain or discomfort throughout. And you may not be able to get to the full uh, length either, okay? And initially, depending on the severity of the injury, you might only be able to get as far as here, which is absolutely fine as well. Now, obviously, in case you don't have good core stability and you're quite wobbly, you don't have any balance, I would suggest having a table or rail out in front of you so you can put your hands down on it um, as you're doing the exercise. So it takes that um, balance issue or the equation until you are eventually going to get stronger. If it is the case you have that uh, poor core stability, I would suggest do kind of a glute and tummy um, strengthening exercise as well, along with your hamstring rehab. So can you develop all that kind of pelvic core strength so it takes pressure away from the hamstring. Remember, we do this exercise six repetitions by two sets um, every second day. So for the final exercise, which is called the glider, we're going to have our injured leg at the same side as the table or countertop, like the previous exercise. Our knee is going to be slightly bent. We're going to keep that throughout the whole exercise as well. This good leg is going to be slightly behind us, okay? My foot is on something quite smooth, like say a page from a magazine, so we can do this exercise quite smoothly. This hand is going to be on the table at all times as well. I'm going to slowly keep, keep my back straight and slowly lower my leg all the way back till I get that nice big stretch all along here. Go to the point that's comfortable, stop, Put all the pressure now onto the table. Take that pressure off the hamstring and you're going to bring yourself up with your upper body, taking the pressure off the hamstring. Then we're going to do it again. Keep that slight bend in the knee. Bring the leg all the way back. Go nice, slow and controlled. Remember, stop before it's painful. Okay, that's the point that's comfortable for me. We're going to put all my weight now onto the table. Bring myself up using all my upper body and we're going to repeat that then another two times. So it's four repetitions. We're going to do three sets and we do this every three days. 